So I actually, um, in one of the most, exp you know, amazing experiences I ever had was I, I had a chance to travel to Ethiopia last year where my family's originally from, but I was born in Canada. So it was almost like coming home to a place which I'd never been to. And there was just an, you know, an amazing understanding of, you know, what it means to live like a humble life. Because you had people who literally were living on less than, you know, maybe $10 a day for an entire family. And here I am coming with my big Canadian bucks, um, just ready to spend and however I wanted. And to see that the fact they didn't impress people. And for a lot of people, they were completely content with what they had. And from a Western perspective, um, you know, that concept was completely foreign to me because we're always taught that, you know, you need to keep on making more money. You need to keep on pushing. You need to keep on. And there's like never enough. And to see people who had had completely enough and were happy with what they had was mind-blowing for me. And because of that, I was, you know, just forever humbled by understanding that, you know, first of all, money's not everything. And one man's happiness is, you know, sometimes can be so little. Like the amount of happiness that people can get from just, you know, having all their family in one place. It was really amazing to see that. And I was really thankful that I had the opportunity to basically experience that. I, I believe that love can break down barriers because it's important to acknowledge the opposite, right? Do you believe hate can break down barriers? I mean, let's be real, right? Uh, and, and most people, you know, uh, throughout history, anyone who's been a, you know, a, a provocative kind of, you know, person of the people really understood that in order to speak to the people, you have to be of the people and you have to love the people, right? You can't talk, uh, you know, about people without talking to people. And I'm a big, you know, I'm a big person and when it comes to that, I really believe that it's important to always speak eye level. And I was, you know, a person who, when I was younger, I was kind of told indirectly that, you know, maybe I wasn't as smart as everybody else. Or maybe I had some sort of disadvantage. And for me to, you know, internally kind of come to an understanding that, you know, we're all, you know, given, we're all given gifts in many different ways. And it's not until you begin to love who you are that you can begin to love other people. So with that internal love, that internal, you know, uh, that internal kind of uh, hope and aspiration for the best of yourself and your fellow brother or sister, you can only begin to reach that level through that. So, you know, love in many capacities is the, the ultimate formula for, you know, equality and cooperation amongst all peoples, regardless of your race, gender, class, or, or anything of that sort.